Hey there, guys. Today, we are having another Meals for Mench. Very simple stuff guys can cook. Today, tequila marinated shish kebabs and some fried zucchini. Let's take a look at the setup first. I am not going to walk you through how to cut up meat. This is shish kebabs made with all meat. Beef alternated with chicken. The marinade. The marinade is 50% uh, gold tequila. Uh, Margaritaville was my choice this time just because that's what I had on hand. 50% uh, lemon juice. Now, if you want to go with a more margarita feel, mix in some orange juice and lime instead of lemon. Uh, to me, the tequila is what I wanted. Uh, then roughly a teaspoon or so of each of the other ingredients, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, and chili powder. Throw in whatever you like. Marinate it for at least a couple of hours after you've cubed it up. I've got one of these nifty little Tupperware marinating things where you can turn it over and the, the uh, marinade just flows over the meat for you every time you turn it. Now, while that is grilling, we're going to fire up a cast iron skillet. Zucchini. Take off the ends, cut them in half, season them simply little Cajun seasoning that you buy. You can use Tony Shashere. You can use anything you want. Make it simple. Make it flavorful. Now let's go take a look at the outside setup. We are going to cook these on a Weber Go Anywhere uh, grill. Um, yes, you can see my pipes feeling very neglected over there on the side. We're going to get to those in just a moment. I like this particular small grill because it has airflow control on the top and on both sides. We're going to leave these all the way open. These we're going to crank down to about 50% because we're going to want medium heat. So we'll control the airflow from the top. Now, what do we use to cook that? Hold your horses because this is going to go fast. Boom. We are going to use just 20 briquettes. Yes, I'm using a chimney style lighter. Uh, you can look up how to do that. If you don't know how to do it, come on guys, this is not rocket science. We're gonna get those things lit in just a moment and then we'll get the meat right on top of that fire. Fire and a puppy, man's two best friends. While we're waiting for those coals to completely ash over, I am smoking in a three-star Pipe by Lee Bulldog, some more early morning pipe that we'll discuss on Tuesday. Mm. And I am drinking an Imperial Stout that, yes, I brewed myself. That, that is really good stuff. Let's take a peek. Yep, they're ready. Let's get them in the grill. Believe it or not, it doesn't take a ton of coal to do good grilling. This will be enough. The step that a lot of guys overlook is this. We're going to put the grill over the heat, like so, and we're going to cover it for 10 minutes. Those coals are not going to die out. They are going to get nice and hot, and they're going to heat up that grill surface and the inside of the grill like an oven. It's going to be nice and toasty in just a few minutes. Hear that snoring? That's what a boxer puppy sounds like after a long day of play. All right, now we're going to get this meat on there. Notice I am wearing gloves. Even this handle is hot right now. And we are going to put a skewer on. 
just right across. Ooh, hear that sizzle? Hear that sizzle. Every two minutes, I'm gonna rotate one of these from up here all the way down to here, move them up. Because the heat isn't perfectly even on a small grill like this. But let's go take a look and see what we do with the zucchini. Zucchini is super simple. Heat some oil, a couple tablespoons, in a cast iron skillet for about five minutes or so on medium heat. Put them skin side down first. We're gonna let those go for five minutes, then we're gonna flip them over cover them and we'll see what that looks like when we get there you know some folks wonder if there's really any big difference in grilling with um, a parabolic style grill like the traditional Weber kettle versus this Weber which is a rectangular style the answer is no not really why because when you have a load of charcoal on your charcoal grate inside the grill, guess what is blocking the heat from being reflected off of that parabolic grill surface? That's right, the charcoal. So you don't really get any significant difference in cooking. Uh, there's a small difference maybe, but it's not significant. That's one of the reasons I really like this rectangular style grill for a small tabletop. It, it just, it, it cooks wonderfully. You can smoke with it, you can grow with it. Let's let the meat get back to doing its thing over the charcoal. Here's what it looks like done. Always use a quick digital thermometer like this to check your meat temperature, even on shish kebabs and small pieces of meat like this. It's a good idea. And now we'll take a look and see what it looks like plated. And here's what it looks like plated. Zucchini, nicely fried, shish kebabs all ready. My wife happens to be on the other side of the camera because, well, when I cook, she doesn't wear clothes that are appropriate for public viewing. Your wife may not either, especially if you cook something this easy and this tasty. With that, folks, cook something you like. Enjoy your afternoon. Easy. My wife happens to be on the other side of the camera because, well, when I cook, she doesn't wear clothes that are appropriate for public viewing. Stop <laughs> <it>. <laughs>